So you want to use your actual Wiimote with Dolphin. I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're going to need is, well, the actual Wiimote. Uh, it always works best with official Wiimotes and official nunchucks. I heard that with third-party Wiimotes, you could have connection issues, but first-party Wiimote will always work fine. The other thing you're going to need is a type of Bluetooth adapter. Uh, either the one built into your computer may work fine. And I have two other ones here that both work fine with the Wiimote. So it doesn't really matter which. Most of them work fine. But in case you're wondering and want to make sure you get one, on the Dolphin Wiki, there is a list of Bluetooth adapters here that will guaranteed work. And the last thing you're going to need is a sensor bar. There are three different types of sensor bars you can use here. One sensor bar is the actual Wii sensor bar plugged into a Wii while the Wii is turned on. Uh, the second would be a battery-powered sensor bar. And the third is the one that I'm using here, which is a USB-powered sensor bar. Uh, I live in Canada, so those prices aren't exact. I didn't even pay that much for mine. And you can see here, frequently bought together, uh, is the best TP-Link Bluetooth device. That's one of the ones that I have here. But I'm not going to be using that one. I'm going to be using a cheaper one that's, that I've had for years since uh, back in the PS3 controller to computer days. But yeah, once you have your... The sensor bar just needs power, essentially. So either even if it's plugged into the Wii and the Wii is on, or like mine, mine is actually plugged into a cell phone adapter... All the information is relayed back to the Wiimote and sent through Bluetooth. So uh, no information is actually being sent through the sensor bar to anything. Uh, okay, so let's get started then. First of all, I'm going to show you the easiest method. The easiest method to connect a Wiimote, which is simply plug in your USB device. And instantly Windows recognizes it. There it is, Bluetooth devices. Go to controllers, click on emulate the Wiimote's Bluetooth adapter, real Wiimote, and continuous scanning. Then you hit the one and two buttons on your controller. And there it goes, it's connected. That is very easy, works with most Bluetooth adapters, but there is one significant issue with it, which is why it's not my preferred method. The speaker data on the Wiimote does not come through properly, and I'll demonstrate that using Project Zero 2, Wii Edition. Um... Uh, Let's just load any game here, as long as there's at least one... Okay, this one's a good one. For me to demonstrate the problem with this method. Some games don't allow you to pass through the speaker data to the actual speakers of the device. So with some games... You just won't be able to get clear speaker quality, and it may sound like this. I think that's enough of that. I think I broke your ears enough to get my point across that this is not really great for this game because, uh, for instance, look how many things there are in this game that come through only the Bluetooth speaker with no setting to change that option. They always come through the speaker. So we're going to end this simulation for now. Great game, by the way. And here it is on the, on the wiki itself. This is a known problem. This is the bugs at Dolphin Emu. No sound with real e Wiimotes and the emulated Bluetooth. So usually the main solution that you will get if you bring up this issue to one of the devs at Dolphin 
is use Bluetooth pass through, which is what I'm going to show you how to do next. But to use Bluetooth pass through, one of the downsides to doing this is when I install lib USB, my USB device will not show up on Windows like this anymore. It's just one of the downsides to using it. But I'm going to show you how to get that set up too. The instructions are here. This is the Wiki Dolphin Emu and the Bluetooth. Uh, by the way, this Wiki is great. It's, it has a list of games and it shows you the best way to get the games installed. So maybe I should... Maybe I should show you what happens if I just try to use Bluetooth pass-through without setting up LibUSB first. Controllers. Oh, look, the controller connected automatically. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, pass-through Bluetooth USB adapter. This will fix the speaker thing, but it's not set up yet. If you click sync like this, it's going to tell you to run a game. However, if you run a game, you'll get an error. You'll always get this error. Lib USB error not supported. So if you look up on the Dolphin Wiki, you could see on Windows, this typically means the Lib USB when USB driver was not installed for the adapter. So how do you install that driver for the adapter? Again, I have two different adapters here and they both work fine with this, but here it is. Download while the LibU adapter, other programs' devices will not be able to use your Bluetooth device. So the warning is right there. You know what you're getting into. Uh, this can easily be reverted in the Windows Device Manager, and instructions are both provided below. So you want to go to your Device Manager and uninstall the driver, then restart your computer, plug in the USB device, and it'll automatically update the driver to work with Windows again. But for now, we just want it to work. We want to play. We want to properly play our games and listen to the speaker with our Wiimote. So first things first is download and open Zadig. So I already have this on my computer, but here's the download right there. You could click that. Downloads right down in the bottom. I think I'm in the way there, but it's right there in the bottom. Um, I already have it installed in my computer. I'll drag down it's on my top monitor, but I'll drag down the thing to click here. So we click on that. And following the instructions, let's keep the instructions open. Hit back. In the options menu of Zadig, make sure all, make sure list all devices is enabled. So options, list all devices. Cool. Mystic Light, that's definitely not it course your gaming mouse you can see all my devices there my microphone so the one we're looking for is I think it's just called generic USB device where are you B910 webcam Corsair gaming mouse capture ADB interface oh right there CSR a510 that's definitely the USB device because if you look down here, you'll see that the CSR8510 chip is one that regularly works with Dolphin. So that's most likely my USB device. That's another way. Sometimes it won't show up as just generic USB device. Look down here. Maybe you'll see one of these things pop up, which is common chips that are found inside different USB devices. And that's how it appeared on my list, CSR8510810. So next, next thing to do, look through the devices for the radio to pass through. There it is. On the right column, select LibUSBK. So this right column here, LibUSBK. You just click down, down, LibUSBK, then click Replace Driver. wait for it to install
All right, driver was installed successfully. Awesome. So we'll close that. I just dragged Dolphin down quickly so I can open it easier for you guys. Um, I don't know if you have to close Dolphin while doing this, but it's always best to close the applications when you're reinstalling drivers and that sort of thing. Controllers, pass through a Bluetooth adapter. Again, if you click sync here, it won't work. You have to run a game first. So we run a game first. Pull up Dolphin again, controllers, hit sync. Now this time use the sync button on the back of your controller, not the one and two buttons. And it's connected already. That was quick. So let's go back into the same save file and we're going to try the same thing. We're going to see if the speaker's working properly now. Again, the Wiimote's also working properly, just so you can see there. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm a little too close to the sensor bar, but other than that, it's working properly. Let's go back into the game. And test our speaker. All right. Radio, Mayu's Charm. Now, the static you heard that time is actually part of the game. Um, yeah, all of these sound like that. But I can assure you that the speaker data is working correctly now. Uh, we can test another game if, if you want, but this is how this game is. Everything comes through like that. This again was so important to me to get right because this game does not let me choose. So games like Shattered Memories, for example, you can actually uh, change it so that the Wii sounds come through your speakers instead. This game does not give you that option, which is why all the radio messages and any sounds that come from it, for example, uh, the camera itself, That's, that's the way to get your sound correct. Just little shutter sound there, no, no too, not, nothing too big of a deal. So, quick Q&A to end the video in my nice apartment with my uh, COVID-free door back there. But uh, just so you know, uh, different Bluetooth devices will respond differently. Both the Bluetooth devices that I have here are the CSR810 chip that's inside, and that seems to respond pretty well with the Dolphin emulator. Other than that, if you want to make sure that the Bluetooth device that you're buying will respond properly with the Dolphin emulator, I would recommend going to the Dolphin Wiki and buying one of the devices listed there. Uh, the Dolphin Wiki itself also has great information on every single game that's playable on there. And it will always tell you which settings will mess with your game. And I would always say that when you really want a game to look good on Dolphin, to reference that list and always get your settings closest to what people have said to be the best settings for that particular game. Different games do respond differently with the Wii speaker, and if you do have the option to pass through the Wii, uh, the speaker to the output sound of the of the console itself, your TV speaker system, like Shattered Memories, has the option. I would always recommend doing that so you can make sure that you're not getting any bugs and you're actually playing the game to its close to console 
closest to console experience that you can get. Uh, the last thing is, I've read in many places that another option is to turn the Wiimote volume all the way down on the game itself. So you, you go in the game itself and you push the home button. And then from there, you go to the Wiimote settings and you turn the Wiimote volume all the way down to the bottom. And once you do that, it will pass through the computer system itself. I have found this not to work for me at all, not with the emulated Bluetooth adapter and not with the pass-through device, uh, which is why I had to resort again to getting uh, speakers, the speaker to work on my Wiimote, I really had to use the Bluetooth pass-through option with the LibUSB driver. To me, that was the only one that fixed the problem and allowed me to actually hear a lot of the things that are there. The other thing is, when I do play a game on Dolphin, I do have an actual Wii console behind me, and I usually load the game on the Wii console to compare settings against Dolphin itself, and I try to find the best one-to-one -one comparison of the two. So for Fatal Frame 2 and 4, I did this, and this is where I found that the speaker had no issues at all on the Wiimote while using a Bluetooth adapter, a Bluetooth pass-through adapter. But just things to consider, and I hope this helps some of you out because it took me quite a while to get some of these games working properly or as close to the console as I possibly could because, again, Dolphin does upscale your games and it does make your games look a lot better than they would going through the Wii, even if you have one of those HDMI adapters or component cables. Sometimes you may just prefer to play the game on Dolphin anyway because it looks better. So, you know, there's there's definitely a reason to choose Dolphin over playing the game on the actual console. And what you don't want to get is issues. You don't want any sort of differences in the actual gameplay department compared to the actual console. Um, yeah. I hope this helps at least some of you out. I know that it took me a while to get this running properly. And yeah, hope you have a great day.